Hello, in this video I want to show you some of the new output uh, features that uh, I coded into my Python per line uh, program and it's also something that I will start to introduce in uh, my other programs. So Python per line uh, is a simple Python script that will execute a Python expression on each line of a text file or several te text files uh, that you presented. So here for example I have my program and then uh, three test files with uh, this content, just a couple of lines and they are all uh, three different. So what I can do with Python per line for example is to apply a ROT13 encoding on uh, every line. Uh, you can apply any uh, Python expression that you want. So you do Python per line and the expression. So I want to work on a line. So the variable is line and I want to encode it with ROT13. So in Python I can do this like this. And I do that on the first file like this. And then you have uh, your output uh, that is ROT13 encoded. And of course you can do it on uh, several files. Now this is uh, the output. It is directed uh, to standard out. If you want, you can of course redirect it or uh, use an option. Let's take the first one here. Or use an option, option O, to write it to a file. So result.txt for example. And then you have no output to standard out. But uh, you have your result file here. The output is written to the result file. Okay. So that is uh, something that is present, of course, in uh, many of my tools. But now I'm going to uh, show you uh, the new features. So let's do again this uh, output here, which result. And now you have uh, some extra features for output. So let's put uh, double quotes around it, because here on the Mac we want to escape the hash character. Eh? The, when you start the name of the output file with the hash character, then you can use uh, different options. Like for example, this here, C stands for console. So when I use this name as an output file, the output will be written to result.txt because that's the file name, but it will also be written to the console, so standard out. Eh? So C stands uh, for console. So with this, you have two outputs, one to your screen and one to the file. And for uh, very long files, uh, that can give you an uh, indication of uh, your progress. So this is the result. You see you have the output here to the standard out, uh, to your console. And you also have here uh, the output on file. So let's remove this. Now, if you're not inspired, uh, and you cannot come up with a good uh, output file name, uh, like uh, people will tie uh, something like this, xxx, okay, but after some time you will no longer know what uh, this is about. So you can use option G, like this. And when you use that option, the file name will be generated for you, like this. So now if you look here in the output, here you have a new output file, and the generated file name is the name of the tool, extension.log, and then a timestamp with the date and the time. So I can look into this file like this, and that's the output. Of course, if I run this many times, then I each time get different files. You can, of course, also combine this with console output, like this, say CNG. Then you have your console output, but you also have uh, the generated file. So you can combine options. Now let me remove those uh, files, those generated files, like this. Another thing that you can do with the generated file is provide a keyword like this demo. And if you do this, 
then your output file will also include your keyword. Eh? So that is something interesting uh, to do if you want to run your tool several times eh, and have several files uh, with different results. Uh, just use uh, a keyword and then uh, the tool will uh, add a timestamp to have uh, different files. If you have a lot of files uh, to process, like for example here, we will process all text files. You can get an idea of uh, progress by using option P. Uh, P stands for progress, like this. And then here as output, uh, you can see here uh, the progress files uh, that were made. Mm. Of course, now this output was not uh, directed to a file. And what you want to do, of course, is to direct this to a file like this. Mm. Then here you can see the different files that were processed and you can see a progress when it takes a long time. And of course, you also get uh, your output here. Here, yeah, P was created because I did not uh, add the file name, but here, result, I have a file, the content of my output. And then finally, if you are processing several files, then you can also make that each output for every single file is uh, stored inside a different file. And you do that with option S, S stands for separate. So for every input file, you will create an output file. And there you have to specify the name. So we will also call this result.txt, but we will prefix this with the root of the input file name. A and the root is uh, the file name without its extension. So percent %r% percent stands for uh, the root of the input file name, like this. And when we do this, you can see that now you have three different output files like this and it only re contains uh, the output for uh, the input file test one and of course the same for test two result and test uh, three result so these are several uh, output options that i have and eh? i first introduced it in uh, my python per line to, uh, tool but i also will start uh, to introduce this in my uh, other tools uh, when i make new releases for them